This is how to play Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. My name's Andy and if you need any more help with these kind of power chord or electric guitar techniques, check out my electric guitar starter course which is just here. Um, I'll mention a couple of bits in the video as well. Let's get straight in for a close up. Eye of the Tiger, yes, here we go. This is very much a power chords workout and what an awesome tune from Rocky. What a fantastic song. Um, the song actually begins with uh, the first finger at the third fret of the fifth string, so string five. And we need to do alternate picking very quickly. Now we're gonna cover this briefly because this isn't the main focus of the lesson, but the start of the song is... Um, this note, which is a C, played with your first finger, with down and up alternate picking, which is there throughout most of the song. This is slightly palm muted, so my hand is resting here. And we do down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's a great little workout to get into the world of something called alternate picking. Picking down and then picking with an up pick alternately. So down, up, down, up, down, up. It's a great way to get speed, but we're going to focus on the more power chord sections of the song from here on in. So um, that same note that we did the alternate picking on. Okay, we're going to do a power chord here. So this is a fifth string um, C power chord, first finger where it was before, third and little finger if you can, though the easier way to do it is just to have your little finger there, and that's just going to make the stretches easier if that's what you're, uh, what you're needing. But ideally third finger and then little finger directly underneath it, and a nice space either side of the middle finger is really what you're looking towards or the middle finger coming towards this side away from your first finger. We're not wanting this. This is a really bad technique, um, especially if you're new and you're wanting to improve your sort of hand dexterity. You need to keep a gap between your first and second finger, basically. Um, so that's what we're looking to move towards. And we just play that once. Not strumming string six, so we're not going to pick the thickest string. And uh, to make sure that one doesn't ring out, the first finger's just touching the underside of it. So we play the C chord, C5, play it again, and then we move two frets down to the first fret. This is a very wide power chord because the frets are wider. We play it once, and then we move back. So we have one, one, two, three. Let me do that again. One. One, two, three. And that would happen again, but it's more important, it's most important to have total silence in between each one of these chords, which makes this great for beginners. And we're not lifting off to change. We are very much sliding over the strings, but then it becomes even more important when we slide. Just sliding along the strings like this to have complete silence by laying your hand very lightly but touching all the strings so that we get so that one last time three four one one two three we do the one two three one more time one two three and then it ends slightly differently the same chord as we started with, two and three. So this is moving from a fifth string root note to string six, third fret and then fourth fret. That last time again.
and it's just this last one that we let ring out until the riff starts again. Let me play that in its entirety one more time, really slow so you can see it or even play along. In two, three, four. Two. That's the riff. This only happens, unbelievably, it's so famous, but it only happens four times in the whole song, which is um, kind of nuts. The second time it's played, um, some of them are delayed. So if you listen to the recording, or you stick Rocky on your uh, you know, DVD player or, or Blu-ray player, um, you will hear... On that second time, there's a slight delay. The timing of it should come just from knowing the record really well and from having a little play along to it. This happens um, for 16 bars, I believe. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, bang! and then it would start. So you can put the record on, count to 16 bars, and then you're away, okay? Um, there's a little variation of that. So essentially that would happen four times in its entirety. Um, tab, as, again, is on the website if you need it, just here, along with um, a link to my electric guitar starter course, which is fully covering how to play string five and string six uh, power chords and how to change between them in nice and in a nice and easy fashion but there's another part that happens to this riff which goes like this okay and this is at um, eighth fret where we also have the C root note because of um, the, the power chords also exist there. So this is an eighth fret. Okay, so third and little finger on the second and third string. Play them once, play them again, move um, up physically higher to the thicker strings, middle finger and third finger just once there and then back to these notes again and give them some a bend down and vibrato two finishing with the same three power chords that we would play bef we've played before that's how to do that part um, that's for a, a little bit more advanced than most people following my channel I think will need but that's how to do it. You can rewind if you need um, more detail on that to see it again, or you've got the tab on the website. Okie dokie, um, through the verses, it's the piano doing the chords and the bass line, and the guitar is just again doing this, this picking. And then we get up to the chorus, which is the final section that we'll be covering, and this is... It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight Rising up to the challenge of our rivals And the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night And he's watching us all with the eye Just like that, obviously, what an awesome song That begins with an F power chord Very wide um, Either played in the traditional manner or with the little finger, if you have any wrist pain or anything like that, pain in your arm, there are different things that you can do. I'll be doing a video on power chords at a later date. Um, the main video is to talk you through exactly how to do these power chords in the right fashion is that electric guitar starter course that is there. That is what you need to solve all your power chord issues, basically. So we'll continue now. We've got the F chord, just one strum which gives us time to move up to the next one. Eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. 
This is a um, E flat power chord, sixth fret root note. Uh, fifth string, move into string six. We can just move all the fingers up a string. This would make it a B flat power chord. So E flat to B flat. But it's best if we can add the middle finger, so to make it more of a bar chord, really, for the um, for the B flat. And then. So we don't really need to bar, but we're using that same sort of bar chord shape. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge. Okay, and then we're on um, third fret to first fret on string five. Rivals. And then it's the same as the first one we already did. And the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night. If you're really having problems with power chords so far, the main thing is to keep your elbow into your body, I guess. Uh, a lot of you will be struggling with wrist pain and arm pain because your elbow's all the way out here. Really wants to be nice and into your body. Just makes it way more comfortable, especially with these first fret ones. Um, so from the top of the chorus, with the elbow in, one more time, two, three, first fret, it's the eye of the tiger, sixth fret, fifth string root note to sixth string root note, it's the thrill of the fight, back to first fret, rising up to the challenge of our, and then third to first, rivals, fifth string root note. And the last known survivor stalks is same as the first time. Sixth fret. Pray in the night. And then we have these um, single notes that finish the song. Eight, seven, eight it begins with. Eight with the middle finger. These are all on string five. Eight, seven, eight, ten. Eight, seven, eight, ten. Eight, back to ten, and then eleven. Need that written down. The tab, as I say, is in the top corner. By clicking there, it's on. It's on the website. Um, one last time, three, four, watching is all the eye. Of the tiger. And you'd imagine it goes back to the riff there, but it actually, it goes back to this. So that is how to play Eye of the Tiger. If you need more help than that, the chord sheets are on the website along with that electric guitar starter course. Thank you very much for watching guys, please subscribe if you haven't already and check out my electric guitar starter course, the link for which is just there um, if you want to check out these sort of power chord techniques and an introduction to lead guitar playing and lead guitar soloing. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.